Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial on I'm in love with you by the 1975. It's fairly easy. All you want is a single coil guitar like a Fender Stratocaster and you want it to be on the fourth position. So that's just one up from the bridge. And for pedals I'm running this song completely clean. I'm only using a bit of spring reverb for my amplifier which is the Tone King Imperial. The intro section will sound like this. <laughs> Fairly easy. All that is is barring across on the G and B string on the seventh. But you want your middle finger to press down on the eighth fret of the B. And for the first section, you just want to hit it once with your middle finger down on the eighth on the B, and then release. So you're just having that bar across on the seventh on the G and B. So hit that, and then just with the bar, and then hit it again with the bar, and then you're in this section. So, so far, and then we'll talk about this. What I do here is I use the full A major chord, like a shape, but I don't play the, the bass note. What the note you're aiming for is going to be on the 5th fret of the B string, and on the 6th fret of the G, and hit that twice. And then to finish it off, it's going to be the 7th fret on the D string and on the G. So the first variation of the intro will go. And the second one will sound like this. And what that is, is it starts the same, but instead of striking down again, you do this. And what that is, I'm using all of my fingers to mute the strings that I don't want, and just hitting one note, and that note is gonna be on the ninth fret on the D. And then the same bar with the upstroke when you're coming back up, which is going to be the seventh fret on the G on B. So. And then this section sounds very similar. But instead of hitting it twice on this, you're actually going to put your pinky down on the seventh fret of the B. So in total, it'll sound like this. And that there's why it makes it a bit easier if you're going to use that A chord with a thumb over the top. It just means that your wee pinky finger is, is already going to be in place just to set down and then just move it over to a string and finish it off on the final part. So to give you a run through of the intro again, it sounds like this. The song will repeat that same, those same variations, right up until we get to the bridge, which will sound like this. And it shares a lot of the same techniques we've already been using in the intro. So, it's the same bar cross on the 7th and the GMB with the middle finger down on the 8th. And it's two quick strikes, one with the ring, one with the middle finger on and then quickly releasing. And then we're doing this. Which is just using your ring finger down on the 9th fret of the G and then releasing it so it's just back to that original bar of the GMB on the 7th. So. And then you're just placing your ring finger back down on the G, and then striking twice, back down again. And then to finish it off, we're going. All 
all that is is the same bar that we're doing in the very first intro only you're hammering on and off but you're gonna do it twice so and then and then you're back into it for the solo i'll not teach it note for note because i don't think that many people would probably want to learn it and i would encourage anyone if they wanted to to come up with their own but it's from the d major pentatonic scale but i will play through my solo slowly so it'll be easier to listen out by ear and like transcribe it yourself <laughs> That solo is just played with a tube screamer and a course pedal. And like I said, it's all in the D major pentatonic. So hopefully this tutorial has provided some help and let me know if it did. And once again, thank you, thank you very, very much for watching. So all the best, lads, and until next time.